Yeah, hello again, everyone. This is Jason Mulgard, and along with uh, Bill Martin, we are the co-chairs of the Technical Council. So next slide. All right, so what is the Technical Council, if you're not familiar with it? Uh, so it is a relatively small group of uh, technology leaders from the cost industry, and we oversee the technical work at, at SNEA. We also create and oversee the technical work groups to ensure that they carry out the technical activities uh, we try to guide them where best to develop that work and then review and approve the technical standards, architectures, and software that those uh, twigs are developing uh, so that there's just another set of eyes reviewing and ensuring the, the best possible uh, standards are, are released to the public. The Technical Council also prepares general industry white papers uh, that, on technology that's relevant to storage. We maintain a technical uh, a work group policies and procedures document so that each of the twigs operates in a uniform manner. Uh, we develop and produce the SNEA Storage Developers Conference that uh, has come up several times in the presentations today. And we assist in the production of the SDC India. And then last but not least, the Technical Council maintains the SNEA Dictionary, which is uh, a, a reference for anyone to come and look up storage related terms that uh, they uh, may not be familiar with. All right, so what are some of our achievements for 2023? So starting with the SDC 2023 uh, that I had already mentioned on the previous slide. So we had 177 submissions, 96 presentations were delivered from those 177 submissions, 285 attendees at the conference, uh, 18 topics were covered. SDC also had a, a co-hosted storage field day in conjunction this year. The Technical Council generated uh, 42 podcasts from SDC 2022, so listening to previous uh, presentations. And then we generated nine weekend watch lists of presentations from SDC 2023 for people to watch on their weekend in theory. Next slide. The Technical Council also uh, refreshed a number of uh, white pages or uh, web, uh, what is web pages. Uh, so these are short little uh, tutorials for anybody who's not familiar with a particular subject. Uh, uh, so starting uh, at the top, we have the computational storage. What is page that was uh, refreshed? DPU, mirroring, NVMe, NVMe over fabrics, fiber channel, iSCSI, persistent memory, and what is an SSD. We're all updated this year and received uh, input and feedback um, from the technical council. <laughs> Next slide. All right, other technical council work. So I mentioned the dictionary earlier. So this past year, we re reviewed 641 terms in the dictionary, 75 were capacity terms, 249 fiber channel terms, 243 terms that start with the letter S and 74 terms that start with the letter T. From all that, we generated five update documents to update the SNEA dictionary and get it updated online. We created a uh, version numbering scheme for SNEA standards development so that uh, all of the standards would use a uniform numbering convention. So that you know, is just another way of ensuring uniformity across the twigs. We updated templates, uh, the standard template, the internal draft template, the technical proposal template, and the white paper template. Again, in ensuring that uniformity so all the twigs are doing uh, things in a similar manner. And we guided the cloud storage twig on their upcoming cloud object storage plug fest. All right, so with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Bill to cover the technical publications reviewed and approved, as well as our plans for 2024. Bill. Sorry, I had to get off mute. Um, so, oh. one of the things that the Technical Council does is we get involved in the standardization. Uh, we facilitate forwarding SNEA standards to ISO. Um, so as part of that, we, re we submitted our request to continue as an ISO IEC PAS submitter, uh, which is the process whereby we get our standards internationalized. Um, we submitted ISO IEC uh, 5965, which was the Swordfish Scalable Management uh, Storage Management API spec, as well as uh, ISO 2648, uh, the TLS specification for storage systems. Um, the 5965 
has been approved and is an ISO standard. 2648 is still in the process. You heard um, Eric um, Hibbard talk about that earlier. Yeah. Um, so we also work with the technical work groups to ensure that everything takes place appropriately to get their specifications published by SNEA. Um, so we worked with the technical work groups to ensure that computational storage API, zone storage models, uh, the Swordfish version 1.2.5, and the persistent memory test specifications were all approved as SNEA standards this year. Uh, next slide. Um, currently, we have only one document out for public review, which is the CDMI extensions and profile spec. Um, however, over the course of the year, we had a number of documents that went out for public review prior to publication of standards. Uh, next slide. Um, our plans for the next year. Um, so again, we will be developing SDC 2024. Uh, that agenda is in development. Um, we will continue to create, review, and update SNEA What Is pages. Uh, we continue on a regular basis to guide the SNEA twigs and technical activities. We will continue our crawl through the SNEA dictionary. Uh, maybe in another five years, we will have finished our pass and start again at the A terms. We are just finishing up the S terms at the moment, which is a very large group of terms. Um, we will create, review, and update technical council white papers, which are white papers that go across the industry that are not uh, specific to a given twig work. Um, we are looking at uh, SNEA open source software development and how we uh, deal with that and how we work together with twigs for development of that. And we're in looking whether or not there is a place for SNEA to be involved in storage for automotive. Uh, next slide. Um, if you have new technical work that you want to bring into SNEA, um, the process is find two other SNEA companies that agree with you in that need for that technical work and create a proposal for that. Um, we'll be happy to work with you. Um, either you can email tcmd at snea.org or tcchair at snea.org uh, to get help with the process. Uh, but basically, you create a proposal, you bring it into the technical council. Uh, we review it and determine, is it a new technical work group that we need, or is it fit within existing technical work group work? 